Hi everybody, it's Jamie Kay with another episode of Save the Kales, and today I'm going to bring you a recipe, a few recipes, um, for some spring rolls, because it's summertime, and they're gonna be so yummy, um, and dipping sauces too, that is essential. So please stay tuned. Okay, this is the pack of spring roll wrappers that I bought. These things are very, very thin, guys. Can you see that? Like, you can see probably my face <laughs> through it. I'm eating these so I can do that. Um, but they're very, very thin, so you just want to be careful when you're pulling the little individual sheets apart that you're not going to rip them. Um, we're just going to lay these down, and I'll show you how to fill them and roll them up. All right, one of the first ingredients that um, I want to prepare is, uh, are some rice noodles. And they come in in packs like this. There's like a million different brands. Um, a lot of the stuff I'm using today I got from my local Asian market, which is, dare I say, more exciting than the Indian market. Oh my gosh. Um, all you want to do is fill a bowl with hot water, um, like turn on your, your tap and just let it run to the hottest that it can get. And uh, put some of the rice noodles inside the water and let them sit for like 5 to 10 minutes until they're soft. And that's all you want to do. You do not want to boil them. All right, I've got those good and drained. They're nice and soft, not too soft, not mushy. And now we're gonna cut up the rest of the ingredients. And the first uh, set of spring rolls I'm gonna do, they're gonna be raw. So um, for these I have an avocado, um, some different colors of bell peppers. Um, this is some Thai basil, which is different than regular basil, Italian basil, I guess. Um, so check for Thai basil. Um, again, if you go to an Asian market, and you should, you're gonna be able to find that. Um, and some green onions. And I may put tofu in this too, so you can do that if you want. You can add the, uh, the seasoned tofu from uh, one of my other videos. You wanna make sure that you are chopping the vegetables kind of in thin, long strands, um, something like that. You see that we're gonna actually slice the avocado while the outer skin is still on. Be careful not to cut your hands. All right, and once we have that sliced up, you take a spoon and we're gonna scoop the slices right out. And ta-da, sliced avocado. When it comes to the green onions, the scallions, if that's what you call them, um, we're just gonna chop them into really tiny pieces right across so it makes those little circles, and we're gonna throw those in there. Okay, got some of those. And uh, for the Thai basil, I'm actually going to just pull the individual leaves off, and we're gonna put uh, the whole leaves, a few whole leaves inside uh, each spring. Okay, we're gonna lay one of our wrappers down, right like that, and grab some noodles throw the noodles inside, and it's kind of like burritos. I always overfill burritos, so just kind of be careful of what you're doing. Let's see, we'll put the uh, some of the basil leaf next. We'll use two. Got some peppers in there. Get a nice, big, thick slice of avocado. And some green onion. And now, oh, you know what? Let's angle it like that. And now we will roll it up fold in the sides and continue to roll. There you go. Okay, so here you can see we have this humongous amount of spring rolls and um, I just kept making them until I ran out of avocado. So these ones are done. Um, I'm gonna make a dipping sauce, but I'm also gonna just show you a quick recipe um, for some spring rolls with uh, cooked ingredients and then you can also fry those up. Uh, for the next round of cooked spring rolls, I have here some sliced shiitake mushrooms. I got um, this whole pack of them at the Asian market for three dollars. It's so much food. Um, some uh, sliced red cabbage. I have here some ginger that's cut into like matchsticks and then some baby bok choy that I'm going to cut up as well. And this is also... All right, I'm in here cooking. All right, so we've got that mixture all sauteed up. I kind of made a mess. And uh, we are just going to wrap these much like we did uh, the first ones. Um, again, we got some rice noodles if you want to add them. Um, why not? They're yummy. And put a scoopful of our mixture in there. 
and just wrap them up. Okay, the first dipping sauce that I'm gonna make is gonna be a peanut sauce. Um, I don't have a recipe for this. I'm just gonna kind of throw things together. So uh, if you have a better peanut sauce than this, please knock yourself out. I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. So the first thing I did was I minced um, a little bit of ginger, not a tremendous amount, because raw ginger is very strong. Um, so just like a little bit in the bottom. And I'm gonna take a big uh, scoop of peanut butter since that's gonna be our base. <laughs> if you have natural peanut butter, obviously that's the best to use without all the sugar and salt and everything, just ground peanuts. Um, next, I'm boiling some water and uh, we're gonna add water to this and that's gonna really make the, the peanut butter, you know, creamy and more like a sauce. And then um, add a little bit of soy sauce and some other things and I'll be right back with that. Um, what did I put in here? I have a soy sauce base, um, some agave nectar to sweeten it up a little bit. Um, I added some chopped um, green onion to that and I added a little sriracha sauce, that like booster red pepper hot sauce. And then I'm going to add some chopped peanuts into this as well. Um, if you've never chopped peanuts or crushed peanuts, um, here's the way to do it. These are just, I'm going to put them in a plastic bag, put a towel down, cover them up with the towel, you can't see what I'm doing, cover them up with the towel and then pound away at them with the hammer. You need the towel down or else you're just going to like send pieces of peanut flying all over the place. Okay, so crack them. Guys, I hope you enjoy. Remember, you can put anything that you want inside these. Um, you can make any kind of sauce that you want, but I hope this gives you at least a few ideas. Um, these are going to be so cool to take to like potlucks and barbecues and picnics and stuff now that it's getting warm out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.